welcome back to the channel peeps so i had done a video over the weekend um highlighting some of the wealthiest and most luxurious neighborhoods in jamaica um that video seemed to be on the way of doing very well and some of the persons who had watched that video had requested that i continue along similar um, topic lines you understand and I came across an article today that says the eight richest and most influential people in Jamaica I mean these things are always subjective they are going to be persons saying teach and we left off some people and what them smothered end up with the planet and them something there. we can't put everybody and we can't have everybody you understand what I mean I say so um, I will share it and we'll see how it go in the comment section down below. So forward. Tell them I preach and preach. The poor but they got beat and teach. See them some is see. Beat, beat and teach. So beat and teach. So beat and teach. Beat and teach. Beat and teach. So it says the eight richest and most influential people from Jamaica. And it's a, a list of the eight wealthiest and more influential people from Jamaica includes Michael Leachin, Joseph M. Matalan, Chris Blackwell, Paula Carjarit, Dr. Blossom O'Melia Nelson, I love that name, <laughs> Joseph John Issa, Gordon Butch Stewart, and Wayne Chen. See, starting the list here is Joseph Matalan. Mr. Joseph Matalan is a chairman of the ICD Group, a Jamaican investment holding firm, and over 20 years he has applied his knowledge and expertise to transactional finance investment and banking in several institutions including the british caribbean insurance company bcic the development bank of jamaica dbj and the private sector organization of jamaica psoj he is the director of the gleaner company and commodity services company and a former director of the bank of nova scotia jamaica limited Talk about influence, eh? Michael Leachin, you know, Alkaline say, me a Leachin, them have something right now. <laughs> Michael Leachin began his career as a road engineer with the Jamaican government, working his way up to his position as a chairman and founder of Portland Holdings privately held investment firm in Jamaica. He is also the executive chairman of AIC Limited, I'm not sure what that is, and the National Commercial. Mr. Leachin was born in Port Antonio and is a stakeholder in the National Commercial Bank, Jamaica, and total finance in Trinidad and Tobago. Yeah, man, portfolio and normal them people. He personally owns 250 acres of beachfront in Ocherius, as well as homes in Canada and Florida. He has been listed on Forbes magazine billionaire list for the past four years. This article is a little bit on the dated side. I think this was about 14, 2015. Chris Blackwell, probably some person will be surprised by that name. Chris Blackwell belongs to a family that obtained its wealth via sugar and appleton rum. He has been a music mogul for over 50 years, being instrumental in introducing reggae to the world and producing artists like Ike and Tina Turner, Bob Marley, and the Burning Spears. He is founder of Palm Pictures and created the Golden Eye Film Festival, which honors Jamaicans for their excellence in the arts and music. He received the Order of Jamaica in 2004 for his work in the entertainment industry. He currently operates Island Outposts and Conglomerate established to run several resorts in Jamaica and the Bahamas. Next on the list, we have Paula Carjaret. Paula Carjaret is an attorney, philanthropist, and leader in Jamaican society. With her husband, Mark, she is working to promote tourism in Montego Bay. The, I think she's also a Jamaica Labour Party activist. I think she's probably even a, a, a member of parliament, and I'm, I'm not sure at the moment still. The couple recently announced a multi billion dollar project to build 1,200 homes. A 40 acre technology park slated to bring 30,000 jobs to Jamaica and a new University of the West Indies campus that would accommodate as many as 10,000 students that is real influence and money on people. The value of the project is an estimated 500 million. I'm not sure if this is Jamaican, but I suppose. Car Jarrett's great grandmother, Marianne Louise Reese Bevel, 
was the first woman on the island to run for office as an independent candidate in the general election in 1944. Through her husband, she is linked to the prominent Jared family. Yeah, those people are very um, famous from the western section of the island. Dr. Blossom Mealy Nelson, such a lovely name is the first female postmaster general in Jamaica. She has served as pro-chancellor and chair of the Council for the University of Technology, UTEC, along with her achievements in public service. She is applying her talents in the private sector with AMR Group, our AMR Group, a family-owned logistic company, Joseph John Issa. Joseph John Issa, known as Joe Issa, is the founder of the Cool Group, a multi-billion dollar enterprise comprising over 50 companies, that's a lot. He is the chair of the Super Club's all-inclusive resort chain and vice chair of the Gleaner Company. He has been given credit for introducing the all-inclusive resort concept to Jamaica during the tourism downturn in the 1970s. Issa is also known for his community involvement, especially for helping underprivileged children in education. Well done. Gordon puts to what when I say money, I say Butch. Gordon Butch Stewart is a chair of the Sandals Resort International, the Jamaican Observer, and over 200 other firms that come under the Appliance Traders umbrella. <laughs> Appliance Traders is one of the biggest private sector conglomerates in the Caribbean. His network has been placed at one billion. He began his career at age 12 when he borrowed his father's fishing boat and sold his catch of the day as well as transporting individuals from their yachts to the harbor front. <laughs> And ending the list is Wayne Chen. Wayne Chen is the CEO of Super Plus Food Stores and is behind a major expansion in Jamaica's local supermarket business. Super Plus is a large chain with 30 stores across the island. Chen is also a director of the NCB Cayman Limited, AIC Barbados Limited, and the Christmas Town Center Limited. He is the younger brother of Michael Lee Chin. <laughs> money, money, money. And there are a couple of notable um, absentees from the list. One being Douglas Arrain, um, the I think the owner of Grace Kennedy, and uh, Richard Biles, the former president of Sajik who is now the chairman. I think them two hombre they extremely influential, and I think them bank account need an next account for your account for them account. You understand the account, <laughs> peeps. These persons are some of the heavy eaters in the country. The heavy weights, not only are they rich, but they are also very influential, trying to foster growth and development in the country. And they are responsible for the provision of many, many jobs. You understand what I say? So, hats off to these people. And uh, we can understand that some of these persons were born into wealth, but some of them digged it from the ground up and has made themselves tycoons and we can do it too you understand we have to just take the, the risks and willing for no say yo when you come on to them things you win some you lose some and no great man achieve greatness overnight you understand it's a fight zane and you have to work through the darkest night until you see the light you understand i'm out remember to like share subscribe this is Steve saying, until next time, walk good.